you have a really interesting way of looking at how relationships cycle. And I'd love, to, yeah, I'd love you to share that and talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so, well, yeah, all relationships kind of go through, you know, what we call cycles of growth. Um, it's, it's expected that re relationships go through, if you think of it kind of like seasons in a way, like the spring summer season is kind of where things are like really energized and new and there's this like exciting energy often at the beginning of a relationship it's like that um and then summer you know, is adventure and you're like doing new things and you know it's that like really awesome kind of period where everything just feels like rejuvenated but then naturally like it, with everything it, every relationship has its own cycle so then it naturally kind of like heads into kind of like a fall period where things start to kind of die down a little bit. There's this like settling in phase where, you know, you just sort of start to kind of get to know each other in a different way that like excitement's worn off and it's like, okay, back to life now. And, you know, so things might start to feel a little less exciting, a little bit more kind of normal. And then inevitably that can head, start to head into like a winter phase as well. And, in the winter phase there can you can often feel like you don't want to have sex anymore you feel kind of disconnected from your partner feel fairly introverted um and and this is just a really normal part of any relationship but i think sometimes we can get stuck thinking that we failed if we've gotten to that point like something's like really really wrong and and you know maybe maybe it something is wrong and needs addressing but if you get into an argument at in this during this time it doesn't mean that you failed all it means is that you found a limit to your capacity to your current capacity in the relationship and it just it's giving you an opportunity to really kind of hold each other through that and recognize this process that goes on in in the relationship and it gives you an opportunity to get back on track and it actually just expand your capacity in the relationship and evolve your communication. And if you can get through that, then naturally it re resurfaces into spring again, where there's this like renewed sense of um, energy in a relationship. So it's, it's more sort of like remembering that if you're hitting that phase where you're kind of completely disinterested in each other, it doesn't mean like it's all, you know, like it's all over and it's like the worst thing ever. It just means that there's this period, it's like a hibernation period. And that, you know, there's every chance that on the other side is a renewed sense of connection. What happens if you're cycling through at different times? <laughs> like what if one person's in winter and the other one's still, I don't know, summer or spring? Yeah, I mean, um, that definitely happens, of course. I think usually it, it, it kind of, they catch up to each other eventually. But this is when, again, it's like one of you who's, in that more winter kind of um, introverted phase and isn't really wanting to connect, that's where that person has an opportunity to really expand their capacity to communicate. You know, because all of that can be navigated if it's being communicated. But something that feels really, really hard in a relationship is when one person is in that phase and isn't talking about it. And then the other person doesn't know what's going on and starts to feel isolated and anxious. Right. And then that can set off a different cycle where now the anxious party is, you know, becoming kind of like naggy or like really, you know, keeps prodding or trying to get their partner to engage and their partner just really needs space, but isn't able to ask for that or isn't able to say that. So it's again, it's just another opportunity to really communicate around it and to communicate your needs. So